Hi there, uh, Francesca Baldarelli here. I am a the intro to printmaking adjunct professor at YSU. I received my BFA from YSU in printmaking and painting in 2012, and I have received my Master of Fine Arts from the University of Alabama in 2018. I didn't always really love printmaking. In fact, I didn't really like it at all in the beginning. But when I realized I could make monotypes and monoprints and use those techniques and prints to create other objects, I was hooked. In this piece here, I used photo transfers, screen printing, and tape to create this composition. And as a child, I watched my family collect different materials and items and repurpose them and give them new life. And I realized through that process that I could transform objects and materials and make them into something more. So repurposing naturally has led me to form rituals and habits pertaining to collecting. I tend to collect things I see potential in as well as objects that make me giggle and question why on earth someone had this in the first place. I love creating magical moments of memory and discovery through my work. Objects, much like people, have a history. They are formed, and as time passes, they evolve. A crack here, a bend there, slowly becoming different, and that's what I wanted for my work. I wanted to use these different things that I've collected, like old maps. I used to collect different kinds of tape. Just pretty much anything that striked my interest but it wasn't enough for me to make these prints and then put them behind glass and hang them on the wall. I wanted these, uh, the interaction that I had with them, like the whole process of, process of collecting these different things to print with, these different items, uh, to be more part of the viewer's experience. So evolving forward with these, I started layering them more and collecting more materials, especially everyday materials or mundane, boring things and give them new life, such as this old map. There's a orange net, you know, that your oranges come in that I would print with. And, you know, of course, screen printing and relief printing or some carving going on. But this was kind of what I wanted to do. And as I said, I wanted them to evolve. And that's what happened. With this piece, I, was, I took uh, a sheet, an old sheet that I was going to get rid of, and I deconstructed it, and then I reconstructed it. And this came from my time in Alabama, and that's why I named it How Alabama of You, because I learned a lot about textiles there and different ways of making. And uh, I taught myself how to sew. And it was just very reminiscent of the culture and the homey feel that I felt there, even though I was so far away from home. And I, th I think that that's really important. And, and it means a lot to me in my work to give the viewer a sense of home or something that's familiar to them. Because this piece, uh, what is it? Is it a quilt? Is it a curtain? Is it a blanket? What is it? I don't really even know what it is, but... I know that it feels like home to me and you can interact with this piece say like a blanket like you can touch it you can feel it it's very tactile and I think it's important for the viewer when they're interacting with the work to have a sense of familiarness or have a sense of something that they can connect with and I think this piece does that because you can walk around it when you move it moves you know it's just one of those things and here I used fabric from leftover fabric from that previous piece. In this piece, I went around to different gas stations in the area and I collected the crates, the milk crates, and I took those milk crates and again, I deconstructed them. And then I took the fabric and pushed it through the crisscross of the grate. So I, I liked this tension created between the hard, cold plastic and this fluffy, soft material. And again, this piece moves. When you move, you move around it. It's more interactive in a way. And it also interacts more with the space, the shadow, the lighting, and the ground. And I just think it's very important that the viewer can see these 
kind of items that are familiar to them and it gives them more access into the work.